We're going to replicate this Fontaine Magnitude 55H. Uh, I, however, did go on the internet, found some measurements, converted them over to 14th scale on this blueprint I have here. I went to Home Depot and I found this kit. We have some one by one square tube. This is one by one, one sixteenth thick, 72 inches long. These three are all the same and they are three quarter by three quarter. One sixteenth thick, 36 long, 12 inch by 24 inch, 16 gauge material. Uh, this is all steel, weldable. Got it for approximately 70 bucks. Let's make the frame rails. Now let's do a few marks on here. Now I'm marking on the side of the line that I want to cut off. So when I come back and I trace this line, I will now cut the line. Now I'm not gonna mark all my lines because the heat will probably take them off, I'll probably rub them off. So I'll mark each line before I cut each line. It's about to be loud. First cut. That's uh, fairly straight, isn't it? Nice. Now let's flip it and do that again. Now I'll need to do that two more times. One more. Fairly certain I got good usage out of that wheel, didn't I? I'm impressed. All the way down to the nub, huh? Cutting those with the cutoff wheel leaves me with this rough edge and all these burrs hanging off. I don't want that. So I'm gonna use 120 grit flat wheel flap wheel to smooth it out. Two frame rails. Now uh, it needs all these cross members. The cross members go full width of the frame from outer rail to outer rail. So it's gotta be the full width of the trailer. So I need to figure that out. Here I figured it was gonna be 7.3. And yep, just over quarter. I need to figure out how many I'm going to need and how much of this I'm going to use. I think I'm going to be using it all, but we'll see. 13. So let's do some math. Uh -huh. 99.25 inches is what I need. Now that I know that, well, let's make them into cross members. Well, as it turns out, oh, I might be a little bit uh, not as smart as I thought because I realize I'm splitting these in half. So, if I split two and a half, two and a half, I have two thirty or four thirty-six inch long pieces, which gives me my ninety-eight. So I only need to split two, which is good. It means these I'll be able to use for my rear cross members and some other things later. Need to smooth them out and get rid of those rough, sharp spots. Now I got C channels for my cross members and C channels for my mainframe. So I decided on 23 inch deck. So four for my main bream there. The rest I'll use for the tail section and seven and a quarter inch width of my rails. So I'll cut these and then just line them up. Two, four, there's six, eight, ten, twelve, and thirteen. Hmm. So they all need to be the same, so I'll fix that next. Squirt up. <sighs> Now, I've got my four 
main rails one two three four and my 13 cross members four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen somehow this needs to be in there right fill in the gaps so i need the, each one of these to be in three different pieces so we'll go two and a half inches just under seven and a quarter let's see let's take our three sections so if i take that out of there i'm left with four and three quarters so roughly two and three eighths off each side all right so i measured out my two and three eighths off each side got a nice perfectly square stack taped together put my clamp to keep it square while it's c-clamped it ain't going anywhere now I am going to use my portable bandsaw to cut all of these at the same time so they're perfectly the same, hopefully. They look very good, eh? By the way, they're pretty fucking hot. One more time. Turn on my grippy fingies. Jeez. Now you get the idea. That's the deck alone. <laughs> Woo, I got a lot of work cut out for me, don't I? All right, the next step is going to be getting my frame rails ready to go together. All right, so these ones I will start. I'll taper the ends. So there's my taper. So that'll be the ramp to drive up. Now this ramp won't go all the way there. It'll have a small gap for the gooseneck to reach around and grab. I need... To build the other half of the step two inch width i need another piece of this that long <laughs> that's pretty much how they'll go together all right so that's as far as i'm gonna get today all my thinking and stuff took longer than i thought i still got a lot to do to dress up these frame rails before i can weld them together because once they're welded together i won't be able to get to the ends and all that stuff easily to do all my other things so uh things i'm hoping to come i'm gonna try another day i'm gonna make uh, all the extension brackets i'll need 28 little triangle extension brackets and then i'll have to make the hinges <clears throat> for those so they can pivot and get those on here along with some d-rings to tie down to so there's a lot of work just on these i'll have to kick up the ends where they normally would kick up I'll have to make the back end where the axles would go and then once I have all those things on the frame rails and my front attachment points then I can weld them together so this is where we'll leave off for today see you next time hope you subscribe